Shall we? We do stock them, but we don't have them in stock. They're probably going to be about two to four weeks. Okay, bye, bye, bye. Okay, my name is Armen. I'm 30 years of age. I work in a martial arts shop in London, Chinatown called Shaolin Wei. I started martial arts at the age of 20, maybe a bit younger, 18, 19. Currently studying Shaolin Fist Kung Fu, which is a five animal traditional system. My particular interest in martial arts is philosophies, concepts and strategies um, pertaining to martial arts, but also concepts that can exist outside of martial arts for daily living. My philosophy on martial arts, my approach to martial arts is no pain, no gain. My endeavour is a form of personal cultivation to strive and better myself as a person, as an individual and as a member of society. To cultivate myself within society but also to cultivate myself spiritually as well and to cultivate that through martial arts training methods. Martial arts as a whole, the whole unity of martial arts the spiritual side, the physical side, relies on training all those dimensions. So it's the hard and the soft, it's the yin and the yang. So just training one, you only get one, and you become, to a degree, a philosophical degree, you develop an imbalance. So the idea is to harmonize always, harmonize with whatever is around you. And a sophisticated way of doing that is to be hard and soft, because you always come up against something that is harder, and you always come up against something that is softer. Although you can dominate softness through greater softness, and you can dominate hardness through greater hardness, sometimes you'll come up with something against something with greater resistance. So you'll need to harmonize, not through, not by fighting fire with fire, but by fighting fire with water, so you develop a softness. So it's important to train the physical, and it's important to train the spiritual. You train the physical through the spiritual, and you train the spiritual through the physical. They harmonize and lend themselves to each other. Nothing is separate, nothing is individual. Everything follows on from each other, and nothing is learned as a separate unit. Whether you recognize it or not, or whether you want to or not, things develop through cultivation, conscious cultivation, and things also develop through a byproduct. There is no that spiritual level. <laughs> you can strive, and you can have a, a particular aim, a particular goal, but how high is the mountain? The mountain is infinitely high, or it's as minimally high, it's as high as you want it to be. So, a true mountain, there is no height, it keeps going. Uh, you can have a goal and an endeavour and be very particular, very specific, but a true mountain is non-attached. So you keep walking, you keep walking with no goal, no frame, no endeavour. So I don't consider whether I will attain it or not, whether I achieve it or not. At the stage I'm at now, for the reasons that I'm doing, currently doing martial arts, the goal, my goal is to always train until I, until I no longer can. So I don't envisage a time where I won't be training, no stage in my life where I'll be too old or too infirm. Or it's something that, whatever, if I've got one arm, I'll still train with the other one because martial art for me doesn't have a limit on who can do it, or the reasons that they can do it. For the goals I have in mind right now, I'll, I'll train until I no longer can.